Hey there, YouTube. I'm bringing you a quick collection update. It's definitely been a while since I've made a binder video, so I thought I'd take one of my uh, middle-of-the-road binders. So I think everything in here is probably going to be anywhere from like $20 to $50, and a few cards that definitely run into the hundreds, uh, a couple hundred dollars, but really it's just cards that I think are really cool, and uh, I'm going to jump right in. So starting on the first page, we have a few Pokemon cards. I've never been a big collector of Pokemon cards, but I really do love Froligator. Ogeto. Ogeto. Is its Japanese name, it looks like. Uh, but Froligator is my favorite Pokemon. We have a base set Venusaur, base set Charizard, and I don't really, I forget what type of lotion this is. Um, but they're all either Light Play or uh, Near Mint, maybe. I don't really know. Never been, been, been big into Pokemon, but I do have these. Just some stuff I picked up over the years. Going on to the next page is some more Pokemon cards and a few OCG cards. So here we have Cyndaquil, Kalava, uh, Totara, which is Wanino, Waninoko? Huh, Waninoko. Uh, two Croconaw, so Froligator again, and Totara line. I also really love Typhlosion too. I think Gen 2 just had some of the best starters. Chikorita is kind of a hit or a miss kind of thing. Uh, Dragonite card that I picked up at some point, Tyranitar, because I love Tyranitar, and a Dark Blastoise that I also picked up that I think might have been basically free. Over on this side, we have a few, let me, we'll center it again a little bit better, a uh, few OCG cards, so everything in here will probably be OCG. Uh, not everything, the next two pages. Dancing Elf, this is... Zoa? Zoa, yeah, that's it. I couldn't think of its English name. Uh, this is Zoa. Actually, I really want the um, the Tokyo Dome version of Zoa. I don't know which one's this. This is... So I don't have a set ID. That might be the Tokyo Dome one. I don't know. I forget. But I think one of the first Master Packs or something like that had that. Uh, Black Skull Dragon, is that his name? Meteor Black Dragon. One of my favorite cards of all time, actually. I have quite a few of them on the next couple page. A cool altar, two-headed King Rex Meteor Dragon. Uh, Firewing Pegasus, I think is his OCG name, or TCG, Summon Skull, the Red Dark Magician, and Sengenjin. On to the next page, a few more very early ritual monsters and a few ritual spells. Serving Knight, Millennium Shield, also from McDonald's pack, and two Trihorn Dragon, which is pretty cool. So moving over to the right-hand side, I got really interesting Dark Legends. I think of all the reprint sets that came out in the TCG, that Dark Legends was the one I remember buying the most. I think I kind of missed the Retro Pack 1 and 2. I don't really ever recall seeing them when I was a kid, but I know in Dark Legends, they had the reprint of Malicious and Destiny Draw as Super Rares. So I tried to buy a bunch of them when I was younger to pick those up. I think out of probably like probably 20 blisters or so, I might have gotten one Destiny Draw. Really not a whole lot of anything else. I don't know. But we do have an Exodia set, uh, Gate Guardian. And then the three pieces. Now, one thing about Dark Legends is it has become <laughs> pretty expensive over the past past year or two. Um, probably about the past year or so, I think, got pretty darn expensive. On to the next page. Yeah, here we go. So there are those Meteor Black Dragons along with the Bandai one, some Black Skull Dragons, a Dark Legend and Dark Beginnings one, Summon Skull, and Raz Black Dragon. So... Meteor Black Dragon, this one right here, actually this specific one, this is a replica of one that came out in the OCG. I forget exactly what it was for, some sort of prize consolation, something very early in the OCG. But I remember buying this one in a Gate Guardian off of eBay, and there you can see it says replica. But I bought this off of eBay when I was very, very young, and even its card art, I think it's incredible. But even uh, as prevalent as it was in the Forbidden Memories game. I just absolutely love Meteor Black Dragon. So I think it'd be a super cool card as like an all-time rare if that could ever be possible. Over on this side, we have five a Tournament Pack 2 Parrot Dragon. So Parrot Dragon has three printings. It's Tournament Pack 2, Legendary Collection Kaiba. Is that what's called? And the World uh, Championship 2011 printing or something like that. So I think this is common. I really do like commons that are just hard to find commons like that and then... Here we have two Ferrotor Zoa. Uh, should have been three, but the place did, that I ordered the third one from didn't have it, so they sent me a secret. Is this False Bound Kingdom, I think, is what it came out of? TFK, yeah, False Bound Kingdom copy, which is also super clean. Still good looking, because I do like Zoa. I like these very early, uh, just very odd 
normal monsters from the game. And then a star deck Joey Red Eyes Black Dragon. So pretty cool there. On to the next page, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know why I count those, but seven jump zero zero one blue eyes. I think they're value about 25 to 30. I'm not really sure. And then two gate guardians from Secret Rare Metal Raiders. Neither of them are first dead. Actually, are these three print? Uh, so this one's E000. This one's the original 000. So I think E000 is the reprint one. And this is going to be uh, an original unlimited Metal Raiders pack. On the next page, we have a few alternate rare Dark Magician first heads and alternate rare Blue Eyes first heads that should have been the original Star Deck artwork, but that's fine. A Sensor Serpent that was signed by some of the guys from the place I used to work. And then a Dark Legends Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon down here in the corner. That also could have been like an ultra rare. Uh, that should be good right up there. This page, so here we have a lot of, well, three speed duel stuff, but a lot of rush duel stuff. Ooh, some of these rush duel cards look pretty good. So this Sakuratsu Armor, I I'm not super hyped on the, that like, tic-tac-toe cross foil pattern. Not super hyped on that, but the artwork itself, especially on something like this Jinzo, I do really enjoy this Jinzo over here, so. Psycho Shaka. So definitely liking that. Actually, I'd like to make a Jinzo deck in Edison with a place at ease. Um, picked up a few Pot of Greeds, Monster Reborn, Buster Blader, Summon Skull, because Summon Skull is probably my favorite card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh!, and I would like to have every single copy or printing of a Summon Skull type card. Um, so yeah, that's that. I have a few of those Disgraceful Charity Fiverr build goat decks. I'm definitely going to be using a place out of these, this, and this for any goat decks in the future. And then three Speed Duel Duck Magician Girls. Next page. So this is a card that really shows how big Yu-Gi-Oh! collecting has gotten and how expensive it's gotten. Over the course of the past probably year or two. And actually, there's there's something inside the sleeve. Let me try. It's gonna bother me. Gotta try to get it out real quick. Or move it around to where I can't see it. Oh, it's even deeper in the sleeve. But so here we have three Ghost Rare Relinquished from Duelist Pack 23. Duelist Pack 19. I think Dark Magician Girl Duelist Pack 23. That when I first got these, um, maybe about two years ago now, they're roughly, I think I paid about $20. Within the past year or so, I tried to buy them from a local seller. He would only sell these at about $100 a copy. So, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's not only more expensive TCG, OCG's getting up there too for a lot of things. Here we have a first head for Chef the Dark Bean, Ultimate Rare Crystal Wing Dragon. Uh, three, Ultimate Rare First Head Demise. Actually, one of these I picked up. It might be, no, these, this one doesn't look too bad. I think it was this one. It was about $23 at one of my local shops. I was like, it was the last one I needed for the play set. Um, and I also got 20 for just like a pretty beat up copy. Maybe it was this one, I don't remember. He said, yeah, sure. So I picked that up. Over on this side, we have an alternate rare Rainbow Neos, Magma Neos, ultra rare Duelist Chance to Stardust Dragon. And this is one of my favorite alternate rares out of OCG. So OCG definitely has a lot of really cool alternate rares. But Chaos Goddess as an alternate rare, I think is just one of the coolest cards. And actually, its name is Chaos Goddess. What's the rest of it say? Konkondo Megami? Konkondo Megami. Uh, its texture is really small up there. Uh, but Chaos Goddess, very, very good alternate rare. Not, not good, but cool looking. I would definitely love a few more of these. I think I have two at the moment. That might be my only one, I don't remember. This was one of the cards I originally tried to collect was Dark Voltanis. I had probably three, maybe four of these first edition and a binder that was stolen from me. I think when I was probably about s between seventh and ninth grade, so quite a few years ago. I've uh, always loved that card and I'd really like to get a few more of those. There's a Ghost Rare, was it Dark Honest? Yeah, Dark Honest, but this foil pattern on this Ghost Rare is insane. Actually, how it just goes out throughout the whole card, I'm a big fan of that too. I'd love to get some of those in the TCG. On to the next page, just a few machine or really cyber cards. I had to throw this in there because I really didn't have anywhere. 
but I think all these are OCG. Oh, no, here we go first at Ultimate TCG. Um, but these are all Alti OCGs. Uh, gotta find one more of the Cyber Dragon, obviously. Over here we have, these are all English First Ed OCG. And this is a DR4 VW XYZ Dragon Cat Volcano. So DR4 was pretty cool. I would really love to have one of these Ultimate Ring First Edition, but I honestly, I don't know if I've ever seen one of those for sale. I imagine it'd be pretty outrageously expensive. And here's an OCG Cyber Dark Dragon that... The texture in OCG Ultimates looks so much better than TCG counterparts, which is why a lot of the GX, Asian, English are so popular. Because one, they're very hard to find. Two, they have the OCG uh, texture, but they're still T they're or they have the OCG texture because they're Asian cards, but they're TCG because of obviously the text. And you can find them first head, so that's pretty cool. Flipping the page, we have probably the, outside of a MRD first, the hardest to get Barrel Dragon. Um, I don't know if Barrel Dragon's ever been like a promo world's card or anything like that, but this is a VB5, which stands for, shoot, what was that? VB5, Volume Book 5. So these are all Asian English, but Volume Book 5 was an Eng Asian English promo that came with like six packs or something like that and came with a few cards to include Barrel Dragon. Uh, last I looked at these on TCG Player, were around fifty or sixty dollars each, but that could be way off. I'm not sure. Here we have some super rare Dimensional Alchemist, which this card is a super rare. It's extremely beautiful. I really love Dimensional Alchemist as a card in Edison format. How it replaces itself. Big, big fan. So, really liking that. Here we have a three super Hydrogenon. One is DR4. The other one are CP. Is it five, six, or CP4? So DR4 and CP4. Uh, first Ed Card Trooper, First Ed Prometheus, two First Ed Darknethius, and two OCG Ultimate Pot of Avarice. The next page we have three Retro Pack Legends, three Shonen Jump Green Baboons, three First Ed Mystic Pipers Secret. And I don't think this card's ever had a reprint. I think what pack is this Generation Force? EXVC. What is EXVC? Extreme Victory, I believe. I think that's that card's only printing, which is insane if that's the case. We have three Duelist League Spies, three First Ed Nova Summoner. I love Nova Summoner. Definitely want, because of this card, definitely want to pick up like three Gallon Duos, uh, but that card's also outrageously expensive. Two Secret Thunder King and one First Ed Black Rose as Ultra Rare. Over here, we have three... First at a Crystal Seer. I think two of them are French. Yeah. Maybe only one's French. Yeah, okay. So two are English, one is French. Actually, it's the French one that I think looks the best. Has like the best texture by far. Three Yurgen X First Ed, Wind Up Zen Main, Steel Swarm Roach, that's not currently on screen, and a Thousand Dragon. All these are First Ed, Thousand Dragon is Asian English. So while Asian English is very popular for GX, I don't think it's so sought after for the original uh, Dual Monsters. Over here, we have two, all these are OCG except for this Monster Reborn, is the Lost Art Promo. Here's an Ultimate Rare OCG Monster Reborn. Three ultimate, or actually four ultimate rare Goyo Guardians, Scrap Dragon, and two ultimate rare Honest, which this card not being printed as an ultimate rare in the TCG is a travesty. That's okay. Over here, uh, actually I saw this. I, I think we have an ultimate uh, English as well from one of our packs. Wow, this was actually pretty cool. So I went ahead and picked that up. Uh, we'll never play it. But just a few more OCG Ultimate Rare. So here we have three Appaloosa, two OCG Ultimate, a secret, an Ultimate Rare Dark Soul First Ed, which almost makes me want to get the deck, but I don't think I'll ever play a format that Dark Soul is popular in. Brain Control. So this is Cyform Lit. Sci Frame Lord Omega. One of my favorite synchros, mostly because I never used it, but I did pull this out of the box of High Speed Riders. High Speed Riders, I think. I think it's it. H S R high speed roid riders, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. But I bought a box and I ended up pulling that and definitely one of my favorite cards since then. Have a Natria Pineapple, which is first head. 
and I've I've seen this card for go for some pretty outrageous prices. I think it's since around like 70 to 80 bucks, but uh, I don't know. Over here, a few more OCG alties. Uh, this is OCG, even though Astral Language does exist. You can see right there, it says JP000. And here we have what I think is the best printing of Stratos in the Pharaoh's Tour Common. Uh, CP Fearmonger German, Ultimate Rare, Double Dude, Hero Lives, Ultimate Rare, Voltic, 3 Ulti First, Alias, and an OCG Absolute Zero. I need to pick up a few more of those, actually. Onto this side, we have some more heroes, 3 Plasma. Oh, I, I try to fit Plasma in a lot of decks, that just doesn't naturally fit into. Not a lot can support Destiny Hero Plasma, but it is such a cool card. Very powerful, and the skill drain effect is crushing to some things. Two evil heroes, elemental, elemental hero, obviously, and uh, Seer Wildheart. So some cool stuff there. This page, we have some more ultimate rares. Three water dragons, Cyberblader, Dark Horse, Red Dragon, Archfiend. TCG is like a $500 ultimate rare first aid. Ooh. Um, there's an ancient fairy dragon. Two of these are ulti English first aid. Is that Princess Pikaru? Pikaru and Princess Karan. There we go. On this side, a few more OCG Ultimaires. So I, I love, love OCG Ultimaires. Some of the stuff that they got. Phantom Sky Blasters, Lightning Vortex. Obviously, we had those. Um, Venom and is an Ultimate Rare. Starlight Road. It's awesome. Uh, this is also another really popular Ultimate Rare out of the OCG. End of Anubis as an Ultimate Rare. It looks so good. Um, but these are not going to be OCG. It's Ultimate Rare. First at Breakthrough Skill and Great Shan Shogun. Which, for some reason, again, I don't know much about Edison format Six Samurais by any means, but they don't really play Shein Shogun from what, I mean, from what I've seen. Obviously, you can probably be a super dead draw and probably lose you more games than it wins in Edison format. But I think Six Samurais is a decent pick in Edison format. I think so, at least. Never played. Looks like three alternate rare rises. This one is English, but check this out. Whoever touched this card. Oh my gosh. It is first set, and it is still playable. None of this damage is noticeable through a sleeve. As you can see, like the card is not bent in half or any, it's not chewed on. Just, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, can still play it, you know, once it's inside the sleeve. Obviously, there's nothing about it that. Well, I guess you can kind of see that. But if you're double sleeving, you can definitely play it, which I double sleeve pretty much everything these days. Uh, but that is said. A first Ed Card Trooper again, some more Ultimate Rare Monarchs. I think only one Mobius. Yeah, this Mobius is first Ed, first Ed, OCG. Over here we got three first Ed Thestalos. One of them, I think it's this one, yeah, Spanish. Two Ultra Sangams. Uh, starter deck Blue Eyes printing from OCG. OCG Thousand Dragon, a CP Giant Germ, and Pot of Greed. Super rare. So some more pretty cool cards. Um, here we got a first head Asian English Dark Magician. Just a few more cards. So this actually picked up. This might be worth something. I don't know. I think it's a decent amount. I don't know how much I picked it up for, but I do really like this art. I need to start finding more of these like cards that Combined Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl or Tamias, any of the, basically the, was it Legendary Dragon Fusions or whatever? I need to find some more of those. Here I have another Steel Swarm Roach, Roach this one being Dual Terminal uh, Japanese. I don't know if we got this Dual Terminal in TCG, I don't think so, but I just love the Dual Terminal cards. The more, like, older I get, I guess, the more I play, the more I really love Dual Terminal cards. Over to this side. So this was a pretty cool find at my locals. Well, I found two of them and a few other cards. But a Korean Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon Ultra from Premium Pack 4. First edition, too. So, this one came in Ultra and TCG out of the Jump promo. Uh, this, which I think looks so good. I used to have some, but I sold them many, many years ago, probably back in like 2013. But this looks so darn good. Almost the exact same. I've only seen these sold one other place on Facebook for around, I think it's around $15 to $20. So, they actually have some decent value to them. Um, 
Prismatic Dunamis Dark Witch. Here's an Alti First Ed Mystic Swordsman. A few other OCG, like old cards, like a first printing, I think, of Crush Card Virus. Gold Crush. A very early printing of Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. I think looks really good. This page, just a few more alternate rares. All these are first ed, except for the OCG one. And then this perfect, that's also Asian English. Oh, that's not first ed, I lied. These all are. It's definitely some cool stuff there. Over to this side. Uh, here we have Invasion of Chaos, not first ed. Speed Duel, I think this is Retro Pack 1, which also has, yep, Retro Pack 1. So it has some whitening up here, uh, which... Even then, this card still has some insane value. Um, PSV Genzo, not first ed. Metal Raiders, Thousand Drag. So I actually remember the day I pulled this, too. Another one of my childhood, obviously, look at that. Extremely old cards. I remember being in the van. I bought some packs at, like, a Home Depot or something crazy when I was a child. And we are going to my parents' friend's house. And I ended up pulling this and... Uh, I had a few other cards, like a Sangha Thunder as a kid, but I ended up holding onto this. I think I traded the Sangha Thunder or something, but I don't remember. But here we have alternate rares of all the knights, and then this enemy controller happens to be first set, which I would like to get at least another one of these. Obviously, I'd like to get two more, but I really like enemy controller. The more I play it, the more I like it. I think in my zombie deck that I also run Dandelion in, I want to throw in a scapegoat as well as a copy of enemy controller. I think would be really good inside of that deck. Here we have some more Dark Legends cards. Uh, three Baboons, three Ancient Lamp. I don't know why I wanted to pick up three Ancient Lamp, but I did. A Nova Summoner, Blast Fear, and a Gelen Duo. A Gelen Duo, Gelen Duo. I wish I would have picked up more of these. But those Secret First Decks from Strike Neos, looking really good. Here we have every single evil hero besides those two new ones. The new generation ones, which are very expensive. I'm also missing the ones, the fusions that come as ultimate rare. So I do have all the fusions. But the two alternate rares are pretty expensive, being Lightning Golem, as well as, uh, we saw her earlier, Infernal Lady or something like that, I forget. But those alternate rares are in my expensive binder, along with the Malicious Edge. Here we have a Wild Cyclone, which is also a very cool card. I wish this card would have came as an alternate rare. I really like this card. That would have been an alternate rare, that would have been... That's a pretty good card, actually. If this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate any spell or trap cards till the end of the damage step. When this inflicts battle damage, destroy all face down spell or trap cards. So, chances are between summoning and attacking, one of their face down spell or trap cards is going to do something to that. But if you activate like Cold Wave or something, somehow you have this out and you get that attack off. Heavy Storm every time. We're coming up towards the end. On this side, Firewall Dragon, Disc Commander. Duelist Genesis 1st Edition Enemy Controller, 3 1st Edition Raikos, and only 2 1st Edition Destiny Drills, 1 is not 1st Ed. I never found the 1st Ed, and at this point I'm not super interested in it, but that's fine. Here we just have some other cards. Gear Freed, which is not 1st Ed Ultimate Air. 1st Ed Octavius, though. Love Gladiator Beast and Go Yo Guardian. Here we have some Godzilla cards. I love Godzilla too, so I picked up the, I think it was every single Godzilla from the Magic the Gathering Godzilla printing. And then on to the last page. Some more of those. Deep Sea Diva, uh, OCG Super Air, and three uh, Turbo Pack Rekindlings. So that is it for what's pretty much my middle of the road binder. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a wonderful day and bye.